Hey guys, Ben here from United Yacht Sales and welcome back to my channel. I just finished shooting a new discussion video, but before we get to that one, I'm gonna post the final part of my series of catamarans I shot at the Palm Beach Boat Show, finishing up with the Fontaine Peugeot Motor Yacht 44. So for those of you who know or maybe don't know, Peugeot has always maintained a small but distinct line of power catamarans, previously known as the uh, trawler class. They've since rebranded to the Motor Yacht moniker, uh, I think in an attempt to make the uh, trawler line a bit more accessible to people who may be coming over from sailboats or other different kinds of craft. Um, how dramatic of an effect is this? Uh, I mean, aesthetically, I think it's a lot more in line with the rest of their product line, so it does make everything seem a little more integrated, but uh, a lot of the core features haven't changed that you'll see on the, on the tour. I don't want to spoil anything for you, so uh, thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoy the tour. All right, so we're starting with the flybridge this time so I don't forget. In uh, classic Peugeot fashion, we've got solar panels off the end of the hard top. One, two, three, count them. Stepping back, we've got a nice long U-shaped settee with a table and some freestanding chairs. Set it up as you wish. And off to the side here, we've got a wet bar. Interesting effect from the shadows. <laughs> We've got a mini fridge down there as well as an ice maker. The entire top of this flybridge is done in uh, a fake teak. And you also have a tap up here with both hot and cold. In front of that we've got a big day bed uh, that also folds up in the center. And off to the side then we have the flybridge helm station, the all important flybridge helm station. So you can see we've got Volvo IPS on this boat so you've got not just throttles, but also the joystick. And it comes equipped with a Garmin chart plotter. As we move forward, you can see that from the flybridge, we've got a good clear view of both of our bows, uh, as well as the forward cockpit, windlass, anchor locker, and our road. Fun fact, off to the side, we've got the brand new Isla 40. Um, I mean, ostensibly, it's better than the old Lucia 40 since it's replaced it. I'm not too sure what the uh, improvements they've made are, but you know, looks looks cool. So we may or may not get to that. This is the main focus of the day. As well as this flybridge does have a sunroof. So if you wish to be totally sheltered from the elements, you just pull back this shade. We'll go down into the cockpit now. And yes, this is a gigantic hatch that just, you fold it down, it covers the entire flybridge, um, interestingly enough. All right, so in the cockpit, we've got a big banquette off to the end here. A really big cup holder, which is important, I guess. You've got a swim platform off on the end of the boat and there's where you would install chocks for your dinghy if you are bringing a dinghy with you. The aft cockpit just sort of flows very seamlessly into the salon. This is what I call a galley back arrangement. So the galley is sort of just located in the center. We'll go inside in a bit. First, got to go forward. Holder for uh, Stand up paddle boards off to the stanchion, and the uh, stanchions on this are, of course, solid. It's a solid life rail with only a little bit of 119, so really tough. Got a pair of uh, sunbeds, fl uh, flush mounted hatches, as well as a small forward cockpit. The traditional Peugeot cap keeps the interior cool. And we'll go back. Okay, before I forget, we gotta look at the mechanical space. You notice these sort of uh, wheel-like things are basically just big washers, you know, they help keep the insulation in place. Inside we have a ladder that leads down to the engine room. Uh, we have the aforementioned uh, Volvo IPS, 600 horsepower to be exact. 
You have your inverter off to the side. Fuel filters, uh, battery start for the engine, storage for all your tools or whatever implements are back here. And of course the connection down to the propeller drive itself. It is hefty, but you can close it quite easily. All right, moving on to the galley. Have a U-shaped galley, like I said, located centrally within the boat. Uh, dual basin sink. And this one comes with an electric, electric uh, burners. I do believe propane is an option though if you just wanna keep it traditional. All of your storage is down there. We've got one seating area. We'll take a look at the forward helm in a bit. Second seating area. Of course this table does fold out as you see. So, voila. Like the trend these days, uh, it does have a full size fridge, like a Bally or the new Leopard 43 Power Cat. So, yeah. No drawers here. No problem. Again, we have the helm duplicated up here, so the same joystick throttles chart plotter. Peugeot has always been fond of interior helms. That's certainly one thing they haven't changed, although they did abandon the uh, trawler moniker. We'll talk about that in a bit, but here's your view from the salon. It's not as scenic as if we were anchored out in the BVI's, but uh, use your imagination. Interestingly enough, this boat does have a kind of day cabin. I guess the staff is just storing stuff in there for now, but you can use it as a sort of a fourth cabin as this is an owner version. All right, into the guests we go. We'll go forward first where we have a V berth. Though of course you can turn this into a full berth by adding the third piece to make this a uh, queen size bed. Guest hang locker is right next to the bed. All the cabins do have separate doors. And each guest does have their own head. I will say one thing that Peugeot hasn't really changed is the color scheme overall of their boats. I think interior-wise, quality is definitely improved, though the look is not all that dissimilar. A second uh, guest cabin, of course, is guest berth, sorry, is in a thwartship berth. It's located nice and low to the ground, so no difficulties getting in and out of high beds. They've got their own TV, and their head is going to be in the aft. Whereas the hanging locker is going to be on the side. Interestingly enough, this hanging locker door folds in half. Really neat. We'll pop over to the owner's cabin now and wrap this up. As we make our way in, you'll note the breaker off to the side here. We have a pair of storage cabinets as we enter the owner's suite. Make a sharp turn and you have a washer-dryer combo. The owner's uh, cabin consists of an island berth, another a sport ship berth. You've got a nice big window to greet you as you wake up in the morning. A reading and writing desk off to the side. A really big head. I mean, you've just got tons of space 
for all your stuff in here. The owner's hanging locker. A rather interesting uh, shower door. It's magnetic, but very nice. And it just snaps back shut. Wow. Like I said, this is not the largest motor yacht. I'm straining a little to capture some of these angles, but that's to be expected for a boat about this size. We'll take one last look at the owner's suite. And that'll be it. So that is the new Fontaine Peugeot Motor Yacht 44, the corrected version. As always, if you like the video, please be sure to like. If you dislike the video, leave a hot dislike. Uh, leave a comment if you have something to say. And if possible, please consider subscribing. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.